I'm News for Jackson's and Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Subtropical storm Nicole formed earlier on Monday, which kind of begs the question, what exactly is a subtropical storm? What will it impacts be here in the state of Florida? Well, let's first off talk about the difference between a subtropical and tropical system. And one of the biggest differences is its organization, honestly. In fact, you can see an example of a subtropical system and notice how disorganized the area really is it's kind of a sloppy, messy complex, and that's pretty common with subtropical systems. And a subtropical system is kind of a hybrid between a tropical storm and an extra tropical, what we call a non-tropical storm. There are some similarities, though, between tropical storms and subtropical storms. One is we do have an area of circulation right here in red with a close center. But one of the key differences that is uh, different from a tropical storm is the area of peak winds. You can see the peak winds are normally away from the center, sometimes hundreds of miles away from the center of circulation, and they almost always occur in just one segment of the subtropical storm. The other thing you notice is not only is it disorganized, it's very lopsided in structure. Notice how if a lot of the activity is kind of confined here, if I kind of draw a line towards the northern and eastern component of the subtropical system, in fact, there are gaps inside the storm where not much at all is really going on. So that's one of the key differences between a subtropical and a tropical system. Now a tropical cyclone, this is the one we're more typically talking about here in the state of Florida. A tropical system, again, has a close center just like a subtropical storm. But one of the big differences is that where the peak winds are. The peak winds are always near the center of circulation with a subtropical system. And notice how highly organized it is. As I draw my line here, there's not much difference between the northern half of the system and the southern half of the system. And you can see in the satellite presentation on Nicole, this is clearly a system that is highly, highly disorganized. In fact, notice how a lot of the convection's way back here off towards the east. Also notice we see these gaps in coverage where not much going is going on in the parts of sections of the Atlantic. And also notice it still has a center of circulation, but that center of circulation is somewhat exposed. All these are strong indications this is a subtropical storm. However, subtropical storms can become tropical storms. And if you've been to the Atlantic waters in South Florida, you know they're very, very warm. The Gulf Stream can really accelerate consolidation of subtropical systems. So as the storm continues to work its way towards Florida, it's going to interact with that subtropical system. And there's some pretty strong indications it gets towards the Bahamas and may actually become go from a subtropical storm to a tropical storm, which could lead it to become a hurricane. And if that were to happen, we're talking about some a pretty rarefied air that the system is going to be residing in. In fact, we have not had a November hurricane hit the east coast of the state since Yankee. That impacted South Florida way back in 1935. And since November the 5th, we've only had five named storms hit the entire United States. So we are talking about some pretty rarefied air that looks like Nicole is going to be residing in almost a historic nature to the system. It does look like we're going to be talking about significant impacts here across the state of Florida, especially middle for the back end of next week. So bottom line, even though Nicole is a subtropical system, it could still become a tropical storm. And regardless of whether it does or not, there's going to be impacts across southeast Georgia and northeast Florida. For News for Jacks, I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Hecker, Channel 4, The Local Station.